Welcome to the vlog, guys. Like I said, I went to the commissary, just got finished with the gym, and uh, I got some pretty good stuff, found some stuff that I did not think that the commissary had. Um, and yeah, I want to show you guys. I'm just kind of excited on some of the stuff that I found. So, first off, let's start with Halo Top. So, uh, I got this, and I was thinking about my, uh, my second class. Uh, it was her birthday yesterday, so Halo Top at the commissary ended up having birthday cake flavored, so I got one for her, one for me, um, to try it out. I've only had Halo Top one time, I like it, The mac it's very macro friendly, um, the macros on this, so you have to times this by four because this is one pint, but the macros for this are two fat, 14 carbs, six sugars, and five protein. So they are a little pricey, it's like $3 for a pint, but it fits macros. Um, most of you guys know I'm 10 weeks out from competition here on the island, so I have to keep it macro friendly, can't splurge too much. Also found some fat free mozzarella cheese, which is really good, like sprinkle like on the eggs or uh, if I'm having the, the beef and rice, that kind of stuff, just kind of give it a little more flavor. Macro friendly as well, zero fat, two carbs, nine protein, zero sugars. Um, 45 calories and that's for 28 grams probably not going to use 28 grams because um, you don't eat too much cheese it's like enough to put for the flavoring portion but also some more pickups that I got is going to be uh, strawberry cheesecake haven't seen this there um, for the Yoplait Greek yogurt 100 calories and it is zero fat uh, 11 carbs 7 sugars and 14 protein so I like to use eat this by itself or um, you can also add it as toppings. So I got the blue, got some of the blueberry and some of the strawberry cheesecake. Pretty excited about this actually because it's kind of like cheating, but you're not really cheating. Um, also, got some top sirloin steak. Some pretty thick cuts actually. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's like probably about an inch, inch and a half cut. Um, so that should be pretty good. Whenever I cook this weekend, probably cook that for this week. Cut up into strips. Also got some ground beef. Um, that's a that's a go-to a lot of the time for me. So right now my tripod is actually old-fashioned oats, which is what the camera's on. Um, I have one of the big containers of that. What I plan on doing is having one packet of my weight control, maple brown sugar, and I have one packet of this and add one pack, one serving, excuse me, of the old-fashioned oats. So one pack right here is three fats. 29 carbs, one sugar, and seven protein. Good thing about these, like I've said before, is the protein is very, very low. Typically, it's about 12 grams per pack. For normal uh, oatmeal, this is only one gram. So I'm, for better, for more volume, I'm going to put only one packet of these, uh, one packet of the maple brown sugar, and I'm going to use one serving on the old-fashioned oats, grind that up, and make pancakes out of it. Uh, also another super happy find is going to be Hershey sugar free uh, chocolate syrup. Never seen this before but when I read the macros on it it's a given that you just have to try it out. So um, 16 grams if you weigh this out is going to be a serving. Zero fat, three carbs, zero protein, and zero sugars. So pretty great. For toppings, I can also add it um, into protein shakes if you want to. Uh, if you're just craving chocolate, you can add it to whatever you're, you're having. If I get some vanilla Greek yogurt, add that to the topping. Uh, pancakes, oatmeal, whatever, you, you name it. You can, you can add this on there. So this is really, really good. Um, like I said, it's like cheating, but you're not really cheating. Got some more rice cakes. Never had these before. This is the gar garlic, tomato, and basil. The reason why I got these, I've been seeing them a lot recently, and it's going to change the flavor a little bit for me. Plus, it's also only eight carbs per rice cake, which is lower than the others. Also, got a four case of the Ultraviolet, excuse me, the Ultra Zero Monsters, and then also got two cans of the Ultraviolet, change the flavor a little bit. Main reason why I drink these is mostly for the caffeine. It's 140 grams, uh, 140 milligrams of caffeine per can, so it's kind of a pick me up um, throughout the day before I go to the gym or after. If I go to the gym in the morning time, these are good to sip on um, throughout the day actually. But I usually only have about one every other day or every two days or so. It's not an everyday thing. as well. What else did I get? I got 18, a carton of 18 eggs, 
Also got some fresh kale. Plan on freezing this, but what I'm gonna do is cut it up into cut it up off of the stem. Keep half of it to freeze to throw into the shakes, and then on the other half I'll keep fresh. Add that with some of the balsamic vinegar from Walden Farms that was also at the commissary. Zero everything. So dazzle that on some some chicken and kale. Like a little salad there. Uh, yeah, that is it. Turkey breast, um, sandwich meat. Add that in. So what I'm about to do now is shower and uh, I'm going to make some dinner. So I plan on making some pancakes. So I gotta grind up the old fashioned oats, grind up the um, uh, maple brown sugar pack of oatmeal and take a nice little powder and then add some egg whites to that, add some whole eggs to that. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, process and the finished product. So, stay with me. So I got everything laid out, my scale, one pack of oats. Um, this is the uh, maple brown sugar. Three eggs. I'm going to use one of those for the um, for the pancakes. A pan, egg whites. Probably need to grab another one of those actually, just in case. So, boom. Two of those for the egg whites. Some cheese when I'm cooking the eggs. Butter cooking spray. Some seasoning for the eggs. And then the container that I'm going to mix it all in, and then probably use if I uh, make some extra eggs. So now it's a nice nice powder it's like a like a pancake mix powder um, then you just add one egg to it and egg whites so let's go cook and make dinner So it's a little more watery than I expected, but it should still cook up pretty good. All right, breakfast for dinner. All right, so I ended up getting um, five servings of egg whites, one whole egg for the actual eggs. I put two eggs in the protein mix that I made. So I made the pancakes here. As you can see, they're pretty thick. Um, it's more like a French toast kind of texture. So, how I made those? Two whole eggs. F um, four servings of egg whites. So next I'm going to add some, can't believe it's not butter, zero calorie spray. Dazzle some of the uh, Hershey's sugar-free syrup over the top of it and I have something else Warden Farms so let's get some Warden Farms should we go with the strawberry or the blueberry strawberry blueberry strawberry all right actually we're gonna go with blueberry tonight uh, blueberry I'm so glad I found these. Um, what day of where I could find these at? And basically everything was just saying to order them because here on the island things are pretty scarce when it comes to like certain things like this, like the halo top, that kind of stuff. So actually never had these before um, blueberry shrimp though. And then also I had some sprinkles because you got to make it IG approval, right? So. Uh, 
yeah, let me show you how, guys what I'm about to do. All right, so that is what I just did. Now we're going to add some sprinkles and I'll get a picture of it. Boom, done. So, just so that I'm clear, the reason why I made pancakes this way instead of with the usual cake mix or protein mix, this is very, very minimal when it comes to macro. If I wasn't, you know, competition prepping, then I would probably go with some Kodiak cakes or you know some other type of uh, protein pancake mix or just straight regular pancakes you know um, so these are going to taste a little different you can also throw in last time I made these I threw in uh, this the Cellucor cinnamon swirl protein um, so you can throw in a scoop of protein with it as, as well It'll give it a little bit more volume um, but yeah this is a good dinner. Basically, only carbs I've had today is two packs of oat, two packs of oatmeal, um, and then this when I'm finished with this. So, had a little bit of fruit today as well, but other than that, my carbs are little. I'd say about under 200. I'm about to count the macros up, and I'll put the macros on the screen. Um, so if you guys want to try this out or, or if you guys are surprised about the macros of this, that's going to be the video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.